What's up guys, this is T-Briz. I wanted to do a beginner friendly video on channel routing in FL Studio. I also have a YouTube short if you're just looking for a short one minute quick tutorial on this stuff or refresher. I'll link that in the description. So let's get into it. I got a new project started. I set the tempo to 88. I already filled in some notes for our kicks, snares, and hi-hats. But we're not going to go over these notes or anything because this video is just all about the channel routing. First of all, to be super beginner friendly, in case you don't know, this is the channel rack. This is where we put our channels and where you add channels is right here. Channels are spots to add plugins, virtual instruments, samplers, etc. And when we add a new channel, we pretty much always want it to go to the mixer. I follow the habit of as soon as I add a channel, I route it to the mixer right away. So let's just add a plugin. We'll choose FL keys and we'll add it to our channel rack so we can talk about routing it. So we just added this. It's not routed to anything. Before we route this one, let's take a look at the kick and the snare and the hi-hat. We'd see that they're already routed. We have the kick on one, the snare on two, the hi-hat on three, which would correspond with the mixer window, one, two, and three, which by the way, is this window down here. This is the mixer that we've been talking about. I think you may have figured that out already. Now, if I hit play, we're going to see that we get a signal because the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat are coming through. There's our signal. Now, if we add some notes into FL keys and we play this, FL keys is not coming through on any other tracks. In fact, if we mute everything, we can still hear FL keys. Because it's currently just coming through on the master. But we don't want that. Today we're going to put it on insert 4. Why? <laughs> well, 1, 2, 3, 4. Why not? Multiple ways to do this. We want to set our target mixer track. So we're going to hover over the input box where we would set that. We're going to right click. Let's do a type in value. We're going to put it on 4. Now we can see in the mixer window, our selection actually jumped to 4. Right where we just routed this to. If we hit play, now we're going to see our signal coming through. All our signals are now routed. I'll be honest, I don't use type in value very often, but it's there in case we need it, and now you know it. Let's set this back to not being routed and talk about the next option for routing, which is actually what I just did to set this back. We're gonna hover our mouse over where we set the target mixer track. We're gonna left click, and then we're gonna drag. One, two, three, four. I dragged it up to track number four insert number four. The two terms are pretty synonymous with each other. If you say track four, if you say insert four, pretty much the same thing. In fact, FL Studio is a little bit ambiguous with that because each one of these tracks is labeled insert one, insert two, insert three, insert four. But if you were to hover over this, you'll notice in the top left, it actually says target mixer track. It doesn't say target mixer insert. Confused yet? <laughs> Hopefully not. It's actually pretty simple. Cool. Let's uh, reset this back to nothing because we're going to go over another method. And now this is my favorite way to route a track. As soon as I add a plugin to one of these channels, I'm going to make sure it's selected. This little box to the right of the channel name will be highlighted in green when you have it selected. If I can select some of these other ones, you'll see it move. But this is the one we want selected. Also, if you double click, it selects all of them. We don't want that right now. We just want to select our one channel. Make sure it's selected. Come down to the mixer window. Select the insert that we want this channel routed to. We're going to right click. We're going to go to channel routing. We're going to say route selected channels to this track. It renamed the track. It recolored it and it routed it. That's my favorite way to do it. The other thing that could happen with this, like I said, make sure you have your one channel selected because if we were to select all of these channels and have them all highlighted in green like this and not notice that, and then come down here and right click and do channel routing, route selected channels to this track. This is routing the selected channels. So it's gonna route every single channel to one track. Let me click it, I'll show you. We just routed the kick, the snare, the hi-hat, the keys, all to track four. If we play this, every single instrument in the channel rack is now coming through insert number four. There is no undo button for that. There's a lot of things that you could do inside of FL Studio that you can undo. This is one of those things that you just can't undo. So if you make this mistake, you have to go back and fix everything by hand. And you know what? We can actually fix this mistake with the next Technique for routing channels. Let's fix this mistake. Let's double click. Let's select all of them. They're all routed to channel four, but we want them to go back to one, two, three, and four, right? If we head over to insert one, 
we select that and then we right click we go to channel routing and we do route selected channels starting from this track it routed the selected channel starting from this track it started from one snare on two hi-hat on three keys on four just like this one two three four you can do this anywhere if i wanted to start on 11 and right click channel routing route selected channel starting from this track boom kick snare hi-hat keys and you notice this one also renames and colors based on the channels up in the channel rack that we're routing this is another one that i use often but it's also something you got to be careful with because for instance say we already had something routed on 13 and we started from 11 we just overwrote it and it will not warn you it will not say you already have something routed to a channel are you sure you want to do this nope it's just going to overwrite it it's not going to give you an undo button maybe fl studio can make some quality of life improvements with that but otherwise it's on us as the music creators the producers to know the tools know their limitations and to use them to the best of our knowledge let's hit play to see our channels they're now routed to 11 12 13 and 14 and you see they're coming through over here now all right, that's really it for these channel routing basics. It's very possible that there's other ways to get this done. These are the ones that I know that I use the most. Hopefully this video was helpful and you learned something. I really appreciate the comments you guys leave on my videos. And when you like and subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Have a great day. Peace out.